when administering multiple injections, they should be at least four inches apart and should be no more than 10 mLs each. If the first injection was given in the front part of the injection triangle, it is important to give the second injection at least a hand's width from the first injection. This reduces the chance of the products interfering with each other and not working properly. Spacing products apart also reduces the potential for both products causing an increased reaction in the tissues. Two weeks ago, two injections were given behind the elbow over the rib cage. The injection nearest the elbow was a seven-way clostridium, often referred to as a black leg. Right behind it, an injectable ivermectin dewormer was given. Both products should have been given subcutaneously and at least a hand's width apart. The products ended up in the muscle and were administered too close together. As the muscle is cut, we can feel that the injection was inadvertently administered IM instead of sub-Q. There is a pretty large area of scar tissue about the entire width of a hand. Cutting through where the black leg injection was given, a lesion that extends deep into the muscles over the rib cage can be seen. The muscles should have a red color. The injection lesion is an off-white, very firm, fibrous area. This is the body's reaction to the black leg vaccine getting into the muscle. If part of the tissue is trimmed out, a very distinct scar tissue can be observed. It is very firm to the touch. If the vaccine had been given sub-Q, it may not have caused as severe of a reaction. When the tissue is turned over, the beginning of the second lesion can be seen. As the tissue is sliced, a very firm fibrous lesion can be observed.